Okay, now we have judges on the lift. And the reason why we put it so high up is because we're gonna finish up installing. Okay, so far we just give it, we just give judges a light watch uh, underneath just because we're gonna be working installing some lights on the side. We'll make sure we clean everything and we might be painting some of the wheel base inside so that has to be clean so the paint can stick. So we're gonna let it dry, we're gonna go out, eat something, come back, give me some time to dry, and then we're gonna do that light installation that we have been waiting to do for quite some time. So we'll be back. Okay, so far we have installed the missing LED lights and we'll have put all the wiring in place to secure that on the wall. Now that the lights have been installed, as you guys can see, we have the lights here and there is a wiring that goes all the way in the back. It's secure and it connects with this light. So now that we have that in place, we're going to move so we can remove the wheel fender inside so we can put the wires behind and to connect it to the lights. So this is our next task. We're happy because we're having a lot of progress with the electrical and we're gonna make sure we finish all the outside patio lights today. We remove the fenders from both sides because we're gonna paint them so they're finally complete it and this will give us some space to secure the line for the electrical right now we're watching it both of them so we can get all the grease out and all the dirt so we can proceed to paint the inside in black as you guys can see we already painted the fender in this area which was all yellow after the repair was done, the middle was missing black paint, so we also finished that. And we also went to the other side of the RV, on the driver's side, and we finished this area as well. So all fender work is taking place today, as well as all the electrical that we have been able to put together already. So we're happy to see uh, the progress that is taking place and we're gonna be continue updating as soon as we finish up watching the fenders. We just discovered where is the water coming from and it's through this side here on the window. So now I know what I need to do as a repair. I'm gonna pull it off and I'm gonna reseal the inside to see will that do, if that will help us to avoid more water coming through this corner here because as you guys can see, right there is a little pothole. But you know, this is the only Confirm leak that we have after our last sealed job. We're gonna check this area here and it looks dry, so there's no issues here. However, no, this one is completely sealed, but the one on the driver's side is not. So we, we, we found, hopefully, 
the last leak that needs repair. This bottom part is sealed. There's nothing coming through here. It's perfect. But I have to fix this top here to avoid water intrusion, intrusion that will damage the wood. That is a success. I'm grateful that it rained. So I was able to get inside. But now that I'm inside, I'm finding, I'm finding another leak. But on this side, this leak is coming from the frame. And more likely it's coming from the frame. Uh -huh. Yeah, that area there is where the leak is coming from. You can see how the water is accumulating there. So second leak, I have to look into that area too to check why water is still coming in. So work to do with the seal. It's all windows on the front so far. I'm doing a walkthrough, checking all the potential leak areas. And so far, There's no evidence of water anywhere else. Everything else is draining. So far, things are looking much better. I'm still fighting with the leaks. This is completely dry. That one is completely dry. That one is completely dry. So the only leaks that do exist are related to the windows. So once again, I'm going to get to do work on the windows to stop this problem to continue because it's taking a toll on us. I cannot put together the RV if I don't stop with the leaks. So that is my next past and I will do it before I leave okay now that we prep the Woo! we prep it now that we prep it we're gonna paint it okay black inside it's all black and nice that one will also be prep and paint today so it's time to work As you guys can see, we're having some progress. One down. One more to go. Okay. This is number two. I'm making sure we squeeze all the things out of the can. So we're going to continue painting until it's done. So number two is ready. Nice and black, like it came out of the factory. Beautiful again, both of them. So we're going to let it dry. And then when we finish clearing the rocks out of the frame, we're going to put them back. 